What's up folks, uh, we're back with some more Isaac, I've decided to do a quick uh, solo run because I'm bored right now and don't have anything better to do with my time. Uh, nobody will be joining us today, this is just going to be a solo Azazel, to, Tainted Azazel to the Beast run. So, let's not uh, dawdle any, any longer, we'll just hop right into it. These intros be too long. Making the runtime of the video go slower and stuff. Because the video can only be an hour long. Which is no bueno. If uh, we have a long intro and or outro. Um... My uh, uh, brother, Malachi, is here at the moment, in my house, with me, right now, but, um, and uh, we might, we might maybe do a video tomorrow or something, I don't know, if we're feeling up to it, then we will absolutely do so, because I know the runs with Mal, the co-op runs with Mal, um, get a lot of funny moments and stuff. I really want to go downpour so that I can get the funny cool music for the Ascent. The Ascent has special music for uh, alt floors if you go if you go to the alt floors. It's like super cool in my opinion. I am getting hit a lot. Christ. Um... Fire mind, that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, this room's gonna be fun. Yep, very fun. Okay. Shabam. Tainted Azazel is so frickin' powerful. I like him quite a bit. Alright, what do we do? Do we... grab that, or go get this Tinted Rock? I think the latter of the two. Shabam. Literally just another chest. That's that's cool. And gave us a bomb back, so can't complain too much. And shabam, shabam. There we go. And we got a key to the downpour. <clears throat> Extra boss item. Maybe grab a key piece. Oh, you're an asshole. Luckily, I'm tainted as easel. Pretty All good pills. And we will not be going devil deals today. Because I don't have the health right now. I knew that frickin' uh, Pulte was in there. That's what those guys are called, by the way. I know, uh, pretty much, um, all the, uh, enemy names, because I play this game too much. <clears throat> I'm also working on a physical copy of the bestiary. The, the Isaac bestiary, because I'm insane or something. Very big task because I'm also including mods. You know, Fiend Folio, Revelations. Um, pretty much every single mod I could find that includes enemies. And or bosses. Nice. So 
So yeah, I kind of have to memorize the enemy names, because, you know, working on a book explaining everything about them, so, of course I have to. We've got that key for our item room. Cursed Eye, we will not be taking that. That's not any better. I do not want to be Lazarus. I've already completed everything as him. Because he is piss easy. No, that's cool. Bombs. Very cool. More bombs, but not really worth it. And we're good. We'll probably go mirror dimension for that extra extra item. Tainted Azazel just melts through bosses, man. A lot of, a lot of our uh, past runs have been kinda, you know, not, not very great because of, you know, one reason or another. Uh, Malachi ke keeps dying or something, or um, we don't get good items. It's always something along those lines. But today's just gonna be a nice little fun run. Some tainted Azazel action. Something that I can actually make a video of in under an hour. Ugh. Death. I'm also pretty sure on that uh, that last video um, that we did of Isaac, uh, we ended up losing a delirium fight. Um, I said, uh, hell the fuck no, and did the fight again off, off camera, because I was very angry. And I needed to spite Delirium because he's an asshole and a very bad boss and I don't like him. Tell me how some some people in in the comments of the Delirium theme video were like trying to like defend Delirium as a well-designed boss like game-wise. Like, obviously, he's very, very thematically, like, awesome and cool and stuff, but, like, you know, from a gameplay perspective, he's just... E. Ugh, I'm just gonna sit up a little bit, please. Um, I feel uncomfortable talking. Um, but yeah, a lot of the arguments that people kept making were like, oh, it's it's the final boss, it's supposed to be super hard, it's supposed to be unfair, this this is this is uh, what, what the, the final boss is supposed to be, it's supposed to be the hardest challenge in the game. And, uh, that, those people are very, very kind of stupid, if I do say so myself. Unfairness does not make a boss a, a boss. You might as well just be fighting a fucking brick wall. Um, another another argument they came up with was, oh, but you have so much time to prepare. 
you get like so much time and so many floors and yada 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 but you know there's also characters like you know the lost tainted lost tainted keeper the keeper that will quite literally die in one or two hits guaranteed no matter what no matter how overpowered their items may seem it, it's always just gonna be two hits you're done and I think that's still pretty damn stupid like if if you can you know manage to beat delirium like good good job man but like it's really just not fair it's a not a fair fight Yeah, I, I, when I was looking through them, and I was just like, "Ugh, these people, man!" Like, I get Delirium's like super duper cool. I will not deny that Delirium is awesome. Like, probably one of the best design bosses in the game, in my opinion, from from a design standpoint. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't think. He's a good boss, just in general, from a gameplay perspective. We get a reroll machine. Dead onion. Nah. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. Uh, I think we can get better. Oh my fucking god. Well, we got Polyphemus. We won. Anyways, um. Another another comment that I saw in the video was somebody was like, "Oh, well, I beat the De Delirium on my first try. I still lost." Like, okay, good good for you. That that doesn't change literally anything about like what we're saying about the boss. Who cares if you beat it or something? Like it's still just yeah that's gonna hit me it's 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 still not a good design to boss man like peeps just don't understand However, that will not stop me from fighting him and getting all my completion marks and all that. Oh yeah, another another um, argument was, oh hey, he's an optional boss, you don't have to go fight him. For achievement hunters, you know, game completionists like myself, that's stupid that's a really stupid analogy in fact because you know by that standard it's not actually optional only in you know a casual Isaac players you know type experience which means you know completion folks like myself will have to go through that like 34 times or more because you know failed attempts which is excruciating and painful and it sucks and it usually takes about an hour to get there anyways so what like uh like 30 34 plus hours of just getting to the void failing trying again just just to get the completion marks for one boss who is also the final boss by the way that's also a reason why it's not exactly optional it is literally the final boss which is something you know those people brought up and then entirely contradicted themselves by calling it an optional boss like 
Come on, man. Quit defending the poopy boss. He sucks. Bad boss is a bad boss. No matter how cool it is. Anyways, Delirium ran over. Um, future video plans and stuff. Uh, obviously, I have to work on the Bendy and the Dark Revival video still. Um, that that should hopefully maybe come out this weekend if I'm feeling it. Um, there's more, you know, Minecraft stuff that I'm, I'll probably do as filler. It's that you know, folks aren't getting bored, and I'm actually doing something with the channel still. God, my teeth are really fucking, like, fuzzy right now. I gotta brush after this. Maybe grab a snack or something before I do, but... What time is it? It's only, like... 12.51. And it's a weekend, so I don't care about sleep right now. Except maybe I might, because I might want to make plans with a friend tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I love how I was getting like hit left and right on the first floor and now I'm just doing perfectly fine. Cleaver will take, why not? Hit the fire? Nah. Bullshit. Secret room here. Yes. I'm just smart like that, you know. Oh. The untold. The the unheard of. It happened. I actually got an item from a mushroom. Crazy. Not magic mush though, but but whatever. Still good, because I got it from a mushroom and I'm so cool. We are doing really good with getting these. Okay. Pretty fly. <clears throat> the beast. There he is. There's the door to the funny man. Funny man beast. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, my throat. My throat's really dry right now. Shabam. What the fuck? Okay. Sure, why not? Range down. That's why not. Okay. The Emperor. We're on the mom floor. We're not gonna use that on accident. Almost got him with that brimstone thingy. Getting 
getting a lot of trinkets. Does like Cracker Jacks do that or something? This item. Oh. This item right here. Does that do that? Yeah, I might as well go in the shop. I just opened it. And it is butt cheeks. So we donate. Because I don't want any of this. No, of course. <laughs> no. You're so funny, game. I'm laughing so hard right now. Yes, mother. Oh my god, it's Stompy Mom. Alright, is it just me or did I get Stompy Mom on the solo run that I did with Painted Samson too? Because that's kind of wild. And we take the negative because damage, even though it's not going to matter. Uh, that's literally insane. Fire rate isn't isn't the best, but whatever. Also, this is gonna be you know way under an hour, so why not just go through the boss rush, get some more time on the video, you know? Sorry, does Monstro's Long work on my sneeze, too? Wait, hang on. Holy shit, I think it does. That's cool. The more you know, huh? Something I love about this game is you learn something new about it pretty much every single time you play. There is so much shit in this game, it's not even funny. coming from. There you are. Got a wormy boy. I wasn't so sure about the um, boss rush theme at first, but it's kind of grown on me. I think it's good. I think it's catchy. We're gonna focus on you first, because you're an asshole. And Mega Fatty is dead, I did not realize that. Little haunt. Um, we go to the mausoleum. Yippee! Or or Gehenna. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I used to thought. I what the? F I used to thought. Uh, I used to think that this floor was called Gahana, like, like replace the second E with an A and you get Gahana, because, um, 
I don't know why it never clicked that that was definitely an E and not an A. I don't I don't know why it never clicked in in my brain. But it did eventually and I was like, wait a second, that's not what it was called the whole time. And I was just like calling it Gahana for like the longest time. I love this song. Th this room is evil. That room was made by a sadist. Uh. Mm. I mean, we might as well. Oh boy. This puzzle room is fun, but so unnecessarily long. Still very cool though. Oh my god, with the goats. Frickin' stinky goat. Stinky goat man. Yo, these guys too, I never knew what these guys did. They're called maze roamers. And... Holy shit. But, um, yeah, they're called maze roamers, and I never knew what they did. Um, you know, besides just shoot eyeballs, which I thought was, you know, cool, I guess. But, like, they had to have done something more than that, right? Like, is there a difference between the bloody one and the not bloody one and there is uh you kill one and that one the, the 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 one that it's you know assigned to there's always there's always like two of them uh the one that it's like you know t you know tied with it gets angry and starts uh chasing the player which I did not know until I started working on Bestiary Plus. Which is very cool. Because now I know. When we get to the beast, I'm about to turn the music up. Because it is so good. Revelations 13.1 is the song that plays. It is literally my favorite song from this game. Favorite soundtrack. And I know a lot of people don't really call them songs per se, because songs usually traditionally have words. And, you know, more mainstream instruments. that aren't from a video game. It's still a song in my eyes. A good one at that. And hey, it does have lyrics, actually. It's just in Latin. Or maybe I am just coping very hard. could be a possibility too. Shabam. Ah, oh, come on. Can I meet Cleaver the Ultra Horseman, do you think? That would be very funny if I did that. I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, what if I can meet Cleaver Dogma? We'll, 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 try, we'll try Dogma, and then we'll also try um, one of the Ultra Horsemen, just, just to see. Just to see if it'll work. The sun! Very nice. You 
Oh my god. Little haunt, kinda, kinda, almost got me killed, man. Not cool, bro. Ugh. The ascent is so long. Pretty fun though when you have like a super broken build because there's just like waves of just columns and rows and rows and groups of enemies everywhere in every single room. It's super satisfying to just plow through all of them with a broken build. Tinted Rock. Please don't leave us. <laughs> so sad. This whole sequence is just so... So emotional. So good. I got confused there for a second. I was like, wait, don't I have a little haunt? I'm gonna be honest, uh... I don't remember, like, is, is the enemy also called Little Haunt, or is it just the familiar? I'll have to, I'll have to check that out later. I fucking hate these tainted hop, uh, hoppers, man. They suck. Temperance, blow you up, get her heart back. And go see Dogma. Go see that little little TV baby man. Little little baby man. Little little baby man. That video is really funny. I don't care what anybody says. What do you guys think? Should we try it on the I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Y'all ain't even here right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing the meat cleaver on the second phase, cause I don't think it'll work out well with you know the TV and you know Dogma himself being separate you know entities. sound effects in this fight too, man. So good. Repentance is a, an amazing expansion. They did so good with this shit. It was well worth the wait. Alright, meat cleaver time. Aww. Didn't work. It's bullshit. It should work. Don't want double fidget spinner, man. But maybe actually I don't. Maybe I don't. That sounds like absolute torture. Yeah, you guys see like the textures on him like being all weird? I know that's probably intentional, but that was just, like weird. Like how they have the sprite pages and like... It was kind of like... Weird. Yeah, you see like the other... Why is he doing that, actually? I never really noticed him, like, bugging out that much. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, uh, maybe it's Little Haunt doing, like, the constant damage. That might be it.
Meet Cleaver, no work on dogma. New knowledge gained. I'm telling you, you'll learn something new about this game every single time you play. It's crazy. Bong. Bro got got. time let's do it gotta turn up the music cuz it's so good yeah yeah sup bitch oh no it's okay I have a sun card we should be good yeah yeah I'm afraid to get close to do the sneeze Bam, second phase, let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get in there. Come on, come on. Death. Alright, we're gonna try the meat cleaver on Pestilence here. Yeah, I assumed as much. E we can get in there with a sneeze. Eh. Oh, I don't think it really matters. His flies are gonna freaking use do the brimstone thing on him constantly. I feel like I'm the only one that likes this part of the song at all. It's good. It's really good. So what if it's weird, crazy, demon screeching shit? I think it sounds awesome. Not to mention the guitars and shit. Ugh, my eyes hurt. Yo, what's good? Big D, Big Death, Death Man, Big D. I'm very funny. Ah, uh, where are you going, bitch? Little Haunt is low key carrying. Alright, we get down to one heart, we're using the sun. What's up, big man? Big woman? I forget this is an incarnation of mom. Which it is, because it's wearing the, uh, the mom gown. Never noticed that when I first saw the switch. I hope the, the music isn't terribly loud. I try, I'm, I'm trying to raise my voice a little bit. I really like this song. It's gotta be, it's gotta be up. It's tradition. For me at least. I ain't never bought the Beast on this channel yet, so... I always turn the music up at this part. Oh, please don't do the ghost attack. A lot of people haven't even seen most of the Beast's, like, secondary attacks. Because the fight, you know, usually takes no more than like two minutes for most people. Uh, you know, just use the sun. Just run now. Cleaver! Did not work. I'm surprised. We did it! Then 
suddenly, the sky above cracked open. For and a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder, that and setting it. the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and oh, as he enough. flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his yeah, father that leaving them without turning to say goodbye. Uh -huh. He saw his mother sleeping, and his father taking money from her purse. That's not nice. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night, and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. That's sad. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights. That sounds horrible. And saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. That sounds horrifying. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body. His shame, his worry, pulled from his being. That sounds really As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. That sounds pretty cool. He saw his one true companion alive and well. That's sad. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. That's nice. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. That's cute. He saw his own birth, and the That's faces terrifying. of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then, he saw nothing. That's Are you nothing. sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. That's a big reveal. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. <gasps> Isaac's voice! Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> Isaac and his parents. I literally They're shit my pants when I heard that voice at first. Metaphorically, of course. What we get? Azazel's Rage. Wonderful. Uh, not sure how I feel about that item, to be honest. Yay, we did it! One more mark on Tainted Azazel and... All done. Got... Wait a few characters to do still, actually. <laughs> Tank of Law still has some. That's, that'll be fun. Some fun videos to make. Already got regular Lost all done, though, so none of that. Uh, Samson, we could probably do some more stuff with. It. Didn't really mess with Samson that much. Or Bethany, surprisingly. Bethany's really good. Um... Well, yeah, that's it. That's that's the run. We did it. We beat the beast. We smited the mar the the, the mother of harlots asunder, like the cutscene said. I should probably turn the music down for the outro. That would be a good idea. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for like future videos or anything. Or any any uh, feedback or comments or anything, you know what to do. Uh, I'll try and maybe get a Dark Revival episode finally done um, this weekend, if I can. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.